the grade 7 math practice test for T and ready question at least on this version and who knows in the future number two so the question says solve for m and the original equation is negative 2 m plus 12 equals negative 8 so I'm going to write this down below in my lousy handwriting just so I can work all the steps and I should say I've been teaching math for many years and I still write all the steps down even if I'm just doing it by myself. The reason that I do that is because I have the type of brain that gets distracted by virtually everything on earth so I do it because I know that I will almost immediately forget everything that I was doing uh, because of a squirrel or something. So this isn't, I'm not showing you something that I wouldn't do myself. First thing I'm going to do is draw a line down the equal sign. The reason is it separates the problem into two sections. If an operation, add, subtract, whatever, is on the same side of that line, then I just do what it says, if possible. If it's on the opposite side, like I have to do one thing to one side and one thing to the other, I need to do opposite operations. So my goal is to get this variable by itself. It wants to be socially isolated, which seems appropriate for what's going on uh, as I'm filming this. But in order to do that, I need to get rid of the two components that are with it. First, the coefficient, or not first, but one of them is the coefficient, and the other is this constant, so the 12. I'm going to find the thing that's the furthest away from it and remove that first. So the f this is touching it, so that's not far away. Um, plus 12. I need to eliminate plus 12. To eliminate plus 12, I need to use the opposite operation, so minus 12. Same thing here. You'll notice I didn't combine these two things, so it's not same operations, it's opposite operations to eliminate. So that cancels. Negative 8 minus negative 12 is, of course, negative 20. Now I have negative 2 ninths times m. So in this case, the relationship between these two is um, multiplication, because that's a coefficient, it's touching, it's negative 2 times m. Uh, so the opposite operation would be divide, but dividing by negative 2 ninths is... Uh, just a lot. So another option that we have is to multiply by the reciprocal. So that should help eliminate it. So I'm going to multiply by negative 9 over 2. The whole negative thing is kind of a point of contention because you're used to saying, well, this said plus and this said minus, so shouldn't this be plus? No. The reason is because of the operation. I want to do negative times negative to get rid of the negative because negative times negative is a positive, right? So these cancel each other out. Now I have 9 over 2, and that would be 18, so I'm just doing the numerators, and then 2 times 9, which is 18. And since it's positive, this will cancel out and we'll end up with 1m, which is our ultimate goal. Here, when you do add subtract, the middle point is not 1, it's 0, so you need to eliminate it completely. That's why the signs work the way that they work. Anyway, we do something to one side, we have to do it to the other, so I'm going to multiply this side as well by negative 9 twentieths, or negative 9 over 2 twentieths, where'd that come from? Probably here. Um, negative 9 over 2. So I know that 9 times 2 is 18, so 9 times 20 is 180. And the two negatives cancel each other out, that's very nice, and divide by 2. So I'm one step away, I know that 2 goes into 18 nine times. And do you need to write out the long division? No, I probably wouldn't even write them out. And I'm a heavy, like, I, I'm a heavy writer when I do work. Um, I tend to write out a lot of stuff. And then zero and two. But I don't want to forget the zero there and just put nine. So be careful. And so you get 90. So that's the answer to number two. Where are you going to miss this question if you understand it conceptually? If you understand what to do, the place you're most likely to miss it is either here, because you think, oh, well, it's negative, so I'll just put a positive, and then you get negative 90, or when you do your final division, you forget your zero and you put nine there. So how can you fix that problem? Well, the easiest way to fix that problem is just to test your answer. So negative 2 ninths times 90 plus 12 equals negative 8. Well, this is 90 over 1, so this will cancel out just like that, and this becomes 1, this becomes 10. Negative 2 times 10 is negative 20, plus 12 equals negative 8. And that's a true story. That's a true statement. So this does give me the correct answer. Now, I did this part quickly, and you may need a little bit more time to check your answer, but when you have this type of question, taking the time to check your answer, if you have it, 
is definitely a good idea. So um, be smart about how you balance your time if it's the time section of the test, but still make sure that you um, check your answers if you can.